this is Sejal Patel from Speak the Seekers, and today I'm going to be teaching you a breathing technique called Breath of Fire. And this is a powerful breathing technique to help you physically oxygenate your blood, to allow more blood flow and oxygen to flow to your brain to create, create more space, more clarity. It really helps balance out your immune system and increases your lung capacity. So it has a lot of physical benefits as well as spiritual. This is a beautiful technique to allow you to clear your mind and release negative energy, negative thoughts, and negative space. So it helps you become more conscious and present in the moment. So this breath technique is called breath of fire. And the easiest way to kind of understand what this is, is know how to breathe correctly. When we're breathing the right way, we are inhaling through our nose, allowing our stomach to expand as if there's a balloon in our belly. And when we exhale, our navel contracts back to our spine, kind of contracting and making our stomach tight and when we're like sucking in our gut. So remember to get, understand and get into the flow of breathing correctly before you go into any intermediate or advanced uh, breathing techniques like breath of fire. And once you've gotten that concept of breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your nose, and allowing your stomach to expand, and your navel to contract back to your spine, you are ready and prepared to do breath of fire. So breath of fire is a rhythmic inhale and exhale of equal quantity, but it is a quicker pace than your regular slow deep inhale in and deep inhale out. The easiest way for me to teach you this is that you're doing a powerful exhale so you're bringing your navel to your spine and then you're allowing in the inhales for your belly to kind of just relax. And the easiest way to do this is think of a dog panting, right? So do it with your mouth open. And every time you pant, your navel will contract back to your spine. So it will kind of look something silly like this. Every time you pant, your navel contracts back out, and then naturally as your breath goes in, when you're inhaling, your breath comes out just naturally. So the same thing is to be done with breath of fire, however, this breath is done through the nose. So get back into the panting dog breath with your mouth open, close your mouth and do it with your nose. I don't know if you can see my belly, so I'm going to try to switch to the side and kind of look at what my belly is doing. It's going in and out, in, out, in, out. And let me just try to show it to you from the side. And this breath should not be done by anybody that's pregnant or someone who thinks that they're going to be pregnant, or if you're on your moon cycle or you're on your menses. Um, if you have GI distress, you want to stay away from this. But for anyone else, it's a beautiful breath to do to invigorate your body, mind, soul. And you can do it in conjunction to, with a kundalini technique called ego eradicator. So you're going to be doing breath of fire. And you want to allow yourself to get into the position where your hands are in 60 degree angle with your heart open. You want to kind of roll your shoulders back so you're using your trapezius muscles to keep your arms extended. Your arms should be extended so there's no bend in your elbow. In um, yoga, your thumb is an indicator of your ego and your personality. So we all are, um, in a metaphysical standpoint, just energy. We are um, we are surrounded by electromagnetic field, and so our aura. We need to make sure that it's positive and clear, and allowing us to release our ego helps with that. So envision yourself. You're gonna put your thumbs up. You're gonna bend the rest of your fingers back to your palm, so they're kind of like a little kitty cat. And then you're gonna extend your arms and envision that your um, thumbs are plugging out your ego to get out of your aura. And you're going to begin breath of fire, closing your eyes, focusing on your third eye, the Ajna Chakra. And when you get to practice breath of fire, um, if you find that you're getting dizzy, know that your inhale is longer than, your inhale is not as long as your exhale. So you want to slow down to deep breathing and then get back into the movement of it. So when you're doing breath of fire, do it for one to three minutes. 
And when you're done, take a deep inhale in, bring your thumbs to touch over your head, release the rest of your fingers so your fingers are facing up towards the sky, and then exhale, exhale the breath, take a deep in through your nose, and then the next exhale, create an arc of beautiful light around you. And that's a beautiful technique to release negative energy, blocks, anything that is allowing you to stay in a funky state of mind. So I hope this serves you well, and until next time, take care. Satnam.